Hey, you amazing. Sorry? Do you guys don't have power? I don't have power. Aye, vey. Amr Amr Abba Lazar. Amr Abba Lazar. Amr Abba Lazar. Amr says, Ain Shvius Mishaleles. Shmita. Oh, Shmita. Does not transfer. Ela Derech Mekach. Only through a sale. Which means if you buy the fruit of Shmita, the money will then go on to the, to the, the excuse me, the Kedusha will be transferred from the fruits to the money. Now, when I see the word transfer, it's an improper usage because we're going to see later in the Gemara that Shemitah fruits could impart Kedusha, but they won't lose their original Kedusha. So for now, we're using the word transfer, which means you're going to buy the Shemitah fruits, the money has Kedusha, but the fruits don't lose their Kedusha either. We'll see the Gemara later. So only through a sale will, will, will you be able to transfer money, spread. transfer Kedusha, will it spread? Rabbi Yochan Omar, Rabbi Yochan says, Bein derech mekach, whether it's a sale, bein derech chilol. The word chilol means to redeem it. It's by verbal, a verbal, a verbal declaration. You're, you're going to transfer the let uh, kedusha go from the fruits onto the money. That's called chilol. My time at the Rabbi Elazar. What's the reason for Rabbi Elazar? Let's go. What's the reason for Rabbi Elazar that it only works by sale? My time at Rabbi Elazar. What's the reason for Rabbi Elazar? Says the Gemara. Question mark. My time at Rabbi Elazar. What's the reason for Rabbi Elazar? Then we answer the chsiv. Because the Pasuk says, and put the next three words in quotes, Bishnas Hayoyval Hazois. In this year, Hayoyval, on top of the word Yoyval, you write, write, write the word like Shemitah. Yoyval is just like Shemitah. Yoyval is the 50th year, but it has the same halachas like Shemitah. So for our Gemara, we're, quote, we're, 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 we're using that as a reference to Shemitah. Bishnas Hayoyval Hazois. It says in the year, this year of Yoyval, the Samach and right next to it, it says, Vichisimkru Mimkar. If you were to go, if you were to sell, make a sale. I put that in quotes. If you were to make a sale. So first it says Yoival, Shmita. Then it says sale right afterwards. So that teaches us to make a dash. Derech Mekach. Through a sale, it will transfer. V'loy derech And not through, our, not, not through redemption. Which means chilo means a verbal, a verbal redemption. Which means by saying, "I want to transfer this to this," period. So right now, so now the so that's Rabbi Lazar. Why does so right now? Why does Rabbi Lazar hold that it only gets transferred through a sale because he has the the, the psukim next to each other? Yoival is next to the word v'chisimkru. Says the Gemara, Rabbi Yochanan, my time off. Question mark. What's the reason for Rabbi Yochanan? Why does Rabbi Yochanan hold that what? Why does Rabbi Yochanan hold that it goes through tra- through man- through a uh, um, through a sale and also through uh, redeeming. them redeeming it with a verbal thing? Very good. The chiv the more answers. This uh, boy says this week's parsha, so we get to feel it a little bit more. I was just gonna say. Uh, yes, we laid it. This- with my right with my dad, I was gonna say uh, who paid the tenth. Yes, we- this morning. Ki <laughs> yoyvel, you ready? Ki yoyvel, he kodesh. Ki, put that in quotes. Ki yoyvel hi kodesh. Because yoyvel, ki yoyvel hi, it's yoyvel kodesh. Now, online the word kodesh, please. And the word kodesh is referring to things, can re, is usually referring to things that are hectish. Right, in this context, we want to use it. It really means ki yoyvel hi kodesh. It's, 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 it's a sanctified year. Here, we're going to say the word kodesh also means things that are part of hectish. Ma kodesh, just like hectish, if you have something that's been donated to the base of Mikdash, if Shai, if I donate this pencil to the base of Mikdash, I can redeem, I can redeem it back. How, I, can go, I can take it back from, from, from Hekdash. How do I do it? Either I transfer the Kedusha from the pencil onto money or something else, or I buy it back from Hekdash. So Ma Kedush, just like Hekdash, can be redeemed. Ma Kedush, just like Hekdash, is redeemed. Pass Rabbi Yaakov a fresh pencil. Ellie, you have a fresh pencil? <laughs> French. I got, I got uh, dry age pencils. Uh, Ma <laughs> Kodesh. Ma Kodesh. That will, that will, will take care. Ma Kodesh, just like Hektish, is redeemed. Bein derech mekach. Whether it's through a sale, bein derech hilol, or whether through, a, it's a verbal redemption. Av shvi is so to shmita. Bein derech mekach, bein derech chilol. Shmita also can be redeemed through a sale or through a chilol. Chilol means a re- redemption, a verbal redemption. Period. The Rabbi Sa'i, the Gemara began that with Rabbi Laza. Rabbi Laza held that, that you can only redeem it through a sale. Why? Because two psukim were next to each other. 
The word Yichisimku was next to the word Yoival. So the word says Rabbi Yochanan and Rabbi Yochanan, hi. This pasuk next you put the next words in quotes. Kisimku memkar. My other way. Question mark. How does he understand it? I wrote a footnote on the side. How does Rabbi Yochanan explain why this pasuk is next to Yoival? Yeah, Rabbi Eli's right here. Oh, because he lets everything. So what's what's Mankar doing? Ex- no, no, what's no. What, what, how does he understand that? Why would the Torah exactly? I'm sorry, you're right. Rabbi Yochanan holds. Rabbi Yochanan holds that that that, 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 Shmi, that I'm sorry that Kedusha transferred through a sale and through redemption. So what is it? Why does it, why does the Torah put the word Memkar as a sale next to Yovel? What connection is that? If you want to say it's limiting it that only through a sale you can redeem like Rabbi Lazar, okay. But what does Rabbi Yochanan? How does he understand that? So answers the Gemara, Mi Boyale, Rabbi Yochanan needs it to teach Lichad Rabbi Yosi Bar Chanina. He, he needs the, 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 the word Vichy Simkaru to teach us something of Rabbi Yosi Bar Chanina. The Tanya, because we learned in a Braisa, Amar Rabbi Yosi Bar Chanina, Rabbi Yosi Bar Chanina says, Boyu Rei, come and see, Kama Kosha, how harsh, Avka Shal Shvius is the light of the era of Shvius. And you can write on the side, doing business is a light of era. Now you should know it's a de arisa. Don't think it's a light of it, it's a de arisa, but it's not learned directly from the Pasik, it's an inference. So therefore, it's called the light of era. Of the Shmita of Yeah, the right, there's certain ones which are explicit, much more clear in the Pasik. And this was learned from an inference. Kamakasha Afka Shrivas, how harsh is the dust? Afka is, is what I say. Okay. Dust, 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 which is the light of Eira, exactly. Shashvias. Good. Make a dash. All the nice venicing beperishvias. A person goes ahead and does business with Shmita fruits. A dash, you said? Yeah, a dash. All the now we explain. All the nice. The nice 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 means he does business, he gives and takes, right? The perish vias with the fruits of shvias. Le saif meicher es love. In the end, that's what men exactly. In the end, he'll come to selling his 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 possessions. The es kelav matat love is is movable. The es kelav and his furniture. Shenema, as the pasuk says, b'shnas hayoyiv alazois. This is a quote. In the year of Yaival, Tashuvu Ish Alachuzasai, that's this week's parasha, parasha Bahar. It says, Bishna Sayoival Azois, Tashuvu Ish Alachuzasai, um, each man should return to his, to his inheritance. To the freeing of, of, of people during, during Yaival. But, but that's, we want to focus the fact that the Pasik first talks about Yaival. The Samach next to it, Period. It says another pasuk like when you go in and make a sale. So we see that shmita is next to sale. So what we're going to say is that if you can do business with shmita, you'll come to, say, to having to sell things. Everyone's bothered. How do you know you're going to do? How do you know we're talking about doing business with shmita? That's what my father asked last week. So Taisa says if you're going to come to sell things, it must be because mida kenegem mida. You did business. You sold things. You'll sell your own things. Taisa says. It says that if you it says that from this pasuk first talks about yoyvul, then it talks about selling things. So how, that, how do you know which avera you did? How do you know because you sold things during shemitah, you're going to sell your things? Maybe it's because you did other averas for shemitah. But the first pasuk is not talking about because you did an avera; it's just talking about the rules of yoyvul as it goes. Back. Very good. So it says yoyvul next to selling things. Say that about anything right. else. So we're saying that yoyvul it's, it's talking about shemitah, then talking about selling things. It's so much, you can do something during Shemitah which will make you go ahead and sell items. Uh, but it's actually how the Gemara learns it. The Gemara's learning, says Shemitah, then says you're going to sell things. Why would the Torah talk about selling things you're after Shemitah? Oh, there's no connection. Shemitah doesn't bring to any sale. It says so, so the Gemara is saying, you're going to come, do, 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 I'm sorry, do something during Shemitah, which is going to lead you to having to sell your things. Huh? It's not talking about they're going to have to return your land. I'm used to a little more of a, you know, uh, mm-hmm. action over here. It's not talking about they're going to have to I, return I, your I, land. No, the, but that, that, that's you what sold the... sold your land, maybe? No. Oh, and so, it, 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 um, uh, just, you know, in a Hanami, yeah. that, that, I guess that would also be called business, perhaps. Right. You're going to do ahead do business with your Shemitah property or your fruits. You're going to have to go ahead and sell your possessions. Right. That, so, in a Hanami, it could be that. Yeah, going to you're able to get to return your land, I'm saying. Right. Right. So maybe that that's well, not the Rabbanu don't dash in that way. No, interesting. I like what you're saying. Okay. Fine. 
Look at this on both sides. That's this is where we got to last week. This is where we got to on Thursday. Says the Gemara. Basically, Rabbi Shmuel's pointing out that this Rabbi Shmuel's pointing out that this pasuk, each one returns inheritance means all the land that was sold over the over the last fifty years, everything goes back. Each person goes back to his inheritance. Everyone goes back to his 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 family land during that during by by Yevo. Says the Gemara, Rabbi Lazar, Rabbi Lazar, Hai Kra. This pasuk of Kaidesh to Rabbi Yechanan, my Abedli? Question mark. What's to the pasuk that says Yevo Kaidesh? What does he do with the pasuk? According to him, only uh, right things. Because according to him, only you can, m- uh, thank you. Because according to Abelazar, you think you can only do sell. Thank you so much. Oh, according to Abelazar, you can uh, only selling shmita would transfer. So what does he do with the word kaidesh? Kaidesh would seem to teach us more than that. So the Gemara answers. He needs you to teach us the basic idea. Look at this. Look at the Tanya. He needs you to teach us as the Brisa teaches us. Look at this. Because it is Yevel Kaidesh, that's a quote. And look at this, Rabbi Say. Ma Kaidesh, just as Hektish. Ma Kaidesh, just as something of Hektish. Taifes as Dhammav, it carries over. The Kedusha carries over. Right? Av Shvius, so to Shmita, Taifes as Dhammav. It transfers Kedusha when it's redeemed. When you when typhus means typhus means it, 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 will, it will transfer the kedusha, will carry over mm-hmm. to whatever you if you're redeeming the hektish or if you're redeeming the shmita, it transfers over. How do you know that kedusha gets imparted, that gets moved? Because just like hektish, if you redeem hektish, well, what happens? Because well, Yevel well, is like shmita. Yevel is like shmita uh, exactly. Okay, kedusha remains or kedusha is transferred over. The, uh, we're talking about kedusha being transferred over. Okay, Obviously, okay. that, that, that yeah. should be the same. Exactly. So it's just teaching you the idea. The idea, that's what I said. He needs to just teach you the idea. Oh, Rabbi Sai, look at this Gemara. Look at this Gemara, Rabbi Sai. Look at this Gemara. Tanya Kavasei the Rabbi Lazar. Tanya Kavasei the Rabbi Lazar. We have a Brysa. We have a Brysa. You ready, Chabra? Tanya Kavaseid Rabbi Lazar. We have a Brysa that's like Rabbi Lazar. Tanya Kavaseid Rabbi Yechanan. And we have a Brysa that's like Rabbi Yechanan. Which means we have a Brysa that teaches only through a sale like who? Like who, Rabbi Shmuel? Wait, the Brysa that would... Oh, a sale. Who holds just only through a sale? Oh, so that's uh, not Rabbi Yechanan. That's uh, Rabbi Lazar. That's beautiful. Right. And then we have a Brysa that teaches through a sale and through a redeeming. Rabbi Yechanan. Okay. Amazing. Tanya Kavaseid Rabbi Lazar. We have a price of the teachers like Rabbi Lazar. Yeah. And this is it. Make a dash. Ooh, this is the Brysa. Okay. We, we, at times we put a single quote. Whatever you want. This is the Brysa. It says, Shvitas, Toifes is as the male. Shvitas, Shvitas, Shmita, it transfers Kedusha to the money. Shenem, as the Pasuk says, Ki yoyvel hi kaidash. It really is transferable. Transferable, right. Taifas says it would transfer, right. Shinem as the Pazik says, ki yoyvel, put this um, this whole Pazik in quotes, ki yoyvel hi kaidash, wait. Ki yoyvel hi kaidash. Ti elechem, it should be for you. End of quote. Ki yoyvel hi kaidash, ti elechem. This is the Pazik. It should be yoyvel, it should be yoyvel for you. It should be sanctified for you. That's the end of the Pasuk. Ma Kaidesh, just like Hektish, when you redeem Hektish, Taifes es Damov, it transfers the Kedusha to the money. Put the next word in quotes, in, in, in non quotes, excuse me, in parentheses. Rishash takes it out. It's not necessary to take it out. But also just means it'll, be, it'll have, it'll have the, the usual restrictions. But it's not necessary. Av shviyas, so to shmita, toifeses as the mer. Shmita also will transfer kedusha. Take out the next word, the next, the next word, put it in parentheses. So just one second. You have to file the whole b'risa. Look now. Now the Gemara says, this Rabbi Yisai is the new idea that we're talking about. Ima kodesh. Ima Kodesh, but um, 
just as Ima Kodesh, I'm sorry. Would you say that Ima Kodesh? Would you say that just like Kodesh? Would you say that just like Kodesh, just like Hektish? Would you say Ima Kodesh means like? Would you also say meaning now that you're comparing the two, right? If you're going to compare the two, would you say that Ma Kodesh Toifes Domov? Just like Hektish, when you transfer, it transfers the Yatzah and the original Hektish is now Chulin. Chulin means it's what? It has no Kedusha. It's regular. Av Shviyas. Shotu Shmita. When it's redeemed. Taifasis as the Meh. The Yatzah would you say that? Make a dash now. It's like a run on now. So Ima Kodesh, would you say that Kodesh, that, that just like Hektish, Taifes Damov, the money, it, 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 it transfers to the money, and the original Hektish is now, if I, if I bought this from Hektish, Rabbi Isai, if I bought this from Hektish, and then if I bought it off Hektish, there's no more Kedush on this. It, it, it leaves this. Ashviyas, so to Shmita, Teifes is as the Mel. It should also transfer to the money, Vyotzel Chulen, and the fruits should be free of, uh, should, should it now be regular fruits? Question mark? Uh, it's, like, it's like a question mark run on, because we're just going to go straight to the answer. Tamaloimer, the Torah teaches us, Tia, put that, those two words in quotes. Tia means, and make a dash. Tia, put that in quotes, and make a dash. It should remain as is. Write those two words in. It should remain as is. That's what, when it says tia, it should be. It should be mean, keep it status quo. So, therefore... Therefore, if you're going to buy something from Shemitah, you know what happens? Stay. The Kedusha stays in the fruits, and the money becomes Kaddish. It's interesting. It'll, it'll like multiply. The Gdusha multiplies. And nothing gets diminished from, from this. If I bought, if this is the Shemitah, Shemitah the fruit, and I said, and Shemitah fruit, and I sold it to you, right? You give me right, ten. No, I have that, but we just made this whole comparison to. So the, the comparison is only to teach us that it could impart Kedusha, but not to the extent that it's going to, that it will wow. lose Kedusha. Because it says by Shemitah, Tia. 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 Tia means it should be. All over Shasha, find the Tia, which means keep its status quo. In its state, as it is, it should be. So because the Torah has this word tia, this word tia says, keep it. Keep it as it is. So on one hand, it's, it, it, it's funny. On one hand, it's going to impart Kedusha. It's going to spread Kedusha. On one, but it won't lose anything. That's an interesting phenomenon by Shemitah, that it can give Kedusha, but it can't. And it can't. We'll finish up here in a minute. Look at this, because I want to bring... Rabbi Isai, keep in mind, we want to bring a Raya... That it gets transferred through sale. We want to bring a riot to Rabbi Lazar. The whole Gemara is only to bring a riot to Rabbi Lazar. And we're not, we're not, we're not even done the riot. No, what, that that, that it's only, only through sale. sale right? Exactly. Look at this, Rabbi Say. Look here now. Haketzad. Uh, Haketzad. You know, how, how is this so? Look at this, Rabbi Say. We have to just get to the end. It's not hard. It just go, it reads. Haketzad. How is this so? Show me how it works. <laughs> Two, no, right there, no, 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 Right? Lokach, you purchased the parish feast with the fruits of Shemitah, of Shemitah basar, meat. So I went over, I went over to Reb Eli and I said, Eli, here's some fruits and give me some um, cowboy steaks. Uh, so what does the Gemara say? Elu ve'elu. I'm sorry, boys. Say, underline the word lokach. Underline the word lokach. Underline the word lokach. Okay, okay. So lokach, you purchased the parish feast basar, meat. Elu ve'elu, both items, both items, 
Misbaarin Bishvias must be consumed during Shemitah. Misbaarin Bishvias must be consumed during Shemitah. Misbaarin Bishvias must be consumed during Shemitah. The meat and the food. The meat and foods. And you write it aside. It means they both are treated, they both have the Kedusha of Shemitah. Shemitah has to be eaten by a certain time. You can't keep it around. Elu ve'elu mizbarin v'shviyas. They have to be consumed during Shemitah. What was the point of doing that? Shemitah needs to be consumed. You're right, you're right. Shemitah needs to be consumed during Shemitah. Right, right. 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 Oh, so, oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so, that's not something we just said. Yeah, look, look. That's why you have a fruit. Yeah, so, it's, 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 yeah. so it's really, it's true, it's true. So this is, this is a lot of discussion what exactly this means. Could be a fruit site remain after. So, one second. Lakach, I want to explain that to you. Lakach, the basar dagim. If you then bought, then you bought, purchased with the meat, you bought fish. So you'll see now it moves a little quick. Yatsa basar. Now look at this. Yatsa basar. Kedusha leaves the meat. If you buy 10 things in a row, no, no, no. Now, Yatsa basar. Kedusha leaves the meat. Venech misu dagim. And now the dogim come in its place. This proof is just a knas. So one second. No. The, look at this. Watch this. Hold on. Look at this. So now the meat was the meat had kedusha and the fruits, right? Now I took the meat and I exchanged it for Dugan. fish. So now dogim have fruits. Dogim have kedusha, but, but not, the, the, not the meat. The meat. The, the, yes, the fish and the fruits. Lokach bedogim yayin. You took with the fish. You bought wine. Yatsu dogim the kedusha dogim the fish go away, meaning it loses the kedusha. Venechnas yayin. And uh, the wine now has kedusha. Lakach biyayin, you went, you went and took the wine shem and you bought, and you bought oil. Yatsa yayin, the, now the wine loses benich the shem and the shem comes in. So watch haketzad. How do we how to summarize? Let's summarize haketzad. How do we summarize? Right haketzad to summarize. That's what we're doing right now. Haketzad to summarize. This is it. Oh, look at this, everybody. Look at the whole raya. Achroin, achroin. They say, achroin, achroin. Nichnas b'shvius. It gets the, it comes to the kedusha. It means it gets kedusha. The last thing will have kedusha. Achroin, achroin. The very last item, nichnas b'shvius, will have kedusha. U pri atzmai and the first fruit, aser, will will also be off limits, which means also will have shmita. Period. Let's end the boy side. One second. Last line. I, I, I couldn't stop the boy side. I don't read the tons here. Watch this. Here's the last line. Midiktani, lokach, lokach. We kept repeating the words lokach, lokach. Alma, you see from there, derech mekach in. Only through sale, uh, through sale, yes. In means yes. Kama, derech but through redeeming, lai, not. Straightforward Gemara boy side. We, we went through an Amma today. But it, it goes, no? Chaybach, it went? Um, so, here it tells you at the beginning of the minute. Yeah, we can stop. Yeah, we're not going to go anymore. Okay.